describe it being back here. Yeah, it's just untouched beauty that is forever gonna be preserved. The remoteness, the wildlife, being with the horses, packing up mules. Just the sights, the mountains that surround us down here in this meadow. It's beautiful, breathtaking. You won't find another place in the world like Bull Moose Meadow. Bull Moose Meadow in Hell Roaring is uh, one of the most remote places in the lower 48 and uh, it's untouched, pristine wilderness. Yeah, well, it uh, it's fucking flies in here. There's nothing like it. You just kind of come back here and you fall in love and you don't want to leave anything that you're doing besides uh, being back here. You, your mind's always on hell roaring. The mountains are a simple place, but they can also get very, very complicated real quick too. Well, the fishing here is just unlike any other place, really. The fish are so unpressured. The fishing is good. We have phenomenal native Yellowstone cutthroat trout populations. Taking people back there educates the public on what it truly is so that it can be preserved and conserved. And if you don't do that, then it'll be lost forever. It's okay. Spending that much time in the mountains certainly is demanding and takes you away from your family and friendships and children. I have an eight-year-old daughter that I'm missing out on her life because I'm in the mountains so much. But, you know, as the kids grow up and they can come back there more and more, it kind of relights the fire for me of wanting to do it so that they can experience it and be exposed to it because it's every place a person ought to be. It has true peace and, you know, God's country. 